in the long run. But I mean, if you're if you feel like the bruiser build fits your style better, then you can definitely do a bruiser. But I'd recommend probably just trying the both out to see. <clears throat> I hate to advocate violence and insanity, but it's worked for me. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Is this really the angle? I don't like this at all. No, it's just like the assault on Glory. You see one artillery. Why did he walk like that? Yeah. I don't think Kali dies. Uh, one HP. That's a bit unlucky. Yeah, if I were that kill on that Kali, it would have been really good for me. I have to use my pod early here, so I remount with full health. Actually, maybe I should have held it a little bit because I might not. I might get over the threshold, or I might like be full up before every month. Oh, never mind. It's good. It's actually like perfect. Yes. Yeah, okay, that's really good. The only issue is obviously now we don't have a pot, but it's not even that bad considering. Um, yeah, we're gonna have our passive up pretty quickly too. I think I got ignited, right, by the set, or by some. I'm pretty sure the set ignited. How to use this one behind? I mean, it depends on the champion, right? Because some champions actually hyperscale, like some bruisers hyperscale, and some bruisers like Clyde will kind of just be slowly become irrelevant if they don't get themselves back in the game. It just depends on the champ. Their scalings and stuff. Zach's really, really, really strong right now. In Soul Lane and in the jungle. Yeah, he's just a very strong champ right now. Don't you bite me again. We're like even in XP actually. I might be up like one minion. Or we're like exactly even. I think I lose the cannon. It's fine. I don't have trouble Maybe not actually. Words is just treacherous How did that reach? I feel like that should not have reached, but whatever. The only issue is the wave's kind of fucked here. I need to try to get this in fast. But I don't think I'm going to be able to crash this fully. Yeah, no, the wave's in a really bad spot. Damn. That's really bad for me, actually. I, I couldn't do anything about it though. I had to just reset here. Let's walk back earlier. I mean, uh, tanks tanks are just really really OP right now because of their items. I think they nerfed what chaotic this patch, so they're a little bit weaker to pages, but this item's still like really strong. And in general, the yeah, tanks are just really insane. At the moment. Was a good character. I don't even know if he is, to be honest. I mean, maybe early levels, but as soon as Zach gets to like around level six, if he hasn't died to you already, like he kind of just stat checks you because he can just out sustain your damage. 
Like, I don't even know if that's necessarily true. And he does so much percent max health damage with his W. That, like, I don't actually think that's even true. I lose a plate here, but it's fine. Not that big of a deal. I could have based though there and gotten it, but I was like moving just in case they kept fighting. Yeah. <laughs> you play well what you do, I mean yeah. Eclipse? Yeah, they didn't actually nerf Eclipse. They were supposed to. Or, like, they said they were gonna nerf Eclipse, but then they never actually did. So I think it's still really good. I mean, obviously, you could still go other options, but I just feel like Eclipse is, like, the most consistent item you can go. This wave is so fucked too. We're in such a good spot now. Let's get to killing them interloping intruders. I need to trim this down a little bit. I could have actually flashed and probably killed, but whatever. I don't have to do anything too over aggressive. Because he does a burst right now, he has a lot of long swords. I actually almost fucked up, I didn't buffer. But I was still able to get my last auto off early enough. Or it didn't matter. I need to get this next wave on fast. I think I lose the plate again. I haven't, I haven't actually gotten a plate this game. Both plates have fallen. I haven't actually gotten the gold for it. But it's fine. Because we're, we're getting a big lead anyways. Plates don't actually... I mean, obviously it'd be nice to have the plate gold, but like... It's fine. As long as I'm denying him the gold, it's... Good. Uh, Ignite doesn't give you courage. The only way you'll get courage off Ignite is if you killed him. You'll get the 15 from the takedown. But yeah. The only way you can ever get courage is off auto attacking champions or using your Q. Or killing them. Or get, like getting a takedown. So, like a killer and assist on the champion if you've hit them in the last three seconds. That's the only way you'll get it. You can't just like get it off of like T Mat, for example. It, it's only off those mechanics.
We got it to pretty low. We can get it off next wave. I mean, it's two. I've lost two fifty gold or it. That is a still a decent amount, but the first one I definitely should have gotten. Though I think I, I think I kind of trolled by hovering because I was already low anyways. I should have just stayed under the turret when I was resetting. Shouldn't have moved. That one though I couldn't because I had to just reset. Okay, he could look to try to flash alt me in the turret, so I do have to be careful. But we should be fine. Actually, no, he doesn't have flash. What am I saying? He used it earlier. They ain't ready for us. I see the plate gold first. Maybe I could have just stayed on it, but flinching feels useless. I mean, if they have a ton of CC, I think a flinching can be okay, but right now I'm just running this uh, domination page every game with uh, Ingenious Hunter Sudden Impact. It just feels super insane with how many like active items you build or just like items with passives right now. Look at actually have a specific matchup. Do you take Ignite? Um. Yeah, usually I'll take Ignite in the matchups I know they'll probably go Ignite as well, or like a combat summoner like Darius with Ghost. You do come up with the best ideas. Into like tanks I'll usually just run TP. Sometimes I'll run Ignite, but most likely I'll run TP. Into matchups I know I'm probably not gonna be able to like permakill. But yeah. But I think both are fine in like majority of the games. It just depends on your preference too. Yeah, that's fine. An enemy has been slain. Lights are about to fall. The only thing is if Rengar's here, it's bad. Hopefully no Rengar. I want to get this split. That's really big. We're almost out our uh, gold for our profane too. Would have been nice to wait one more, but uh, it's too great. Yeah. I don't want to die for no reason. We can just push like a wave or two and reset anyways. Good start. Though. Exhaust trend, yeah. Uh, I'll usually run exhaust in the Trinomir. I know people like it in the Riven as well, but usually I'll just run Ignite in the Riven. Because I feel like I'm never going to be able to fully burst a Riven if I go exhaust. But it's really not bad too. Like, it gets Riven as well. Usually the only one is Trinomir for me. Yeah. I think he's in this bush. Oh. He's just chilling.
you stupid brain baggers. Another 2k in the bank. Pretty clean game, honestly. He's gonna bury. Show damage mitigation on inflinging stats. Pretty interesting. They need to show damage on a profane though, but it's actually crazy they don't show the damage on the active of profane. Because for this item does a million damage. They did nerf it to, on the patch from yesterday. It went from 150% scaling to 130% for the bonus AD. But like the item is still so strong. Like it's a very small nerf. Especially like considering that it used to only be 100% when it first came on the live servers and like it was already good. So. <laughs> yeah, this profane nerf is hitting, man. I can feel it. Kappa. Oh my god, my movement is kind of illegal right now, or what? I'd step everything. Through exhausted as well. The tether change. What tether change? I haven't seen anything about the tether change. One twenty, yeah. I mean even one twenty is probably fine. Oh I'm trolling. Oops. Might be. I got too hyped. I missed my E. If I hit the E on the call I have one shotter and I could have gotten out. But there was no reason to even dive that. Oh shit. My fault though. I ruined my Kidia. Bad. Uh, Tether's now gonna immediately break when someone leaves their range instead of frame check, which affects club. I see. Well, it's like a small nerf to it then. Cause yeah, there's been times where like, they are, they're out of their range but it doesn't break right away, right away and I like, flash back in and it stays on them. Or like, it pulls even though like they were like slightly out of the range of it. That's a bit unlucky, but I mean it's not that big of a deal. I don't think. I think it's still fine. Oops. Or Baron, I'm in. Or whatever, just fucking push. It's fine. Or not. 
Yeah, he's gonna duck. So yeah, fuck it, we can just push him up. Alright, nice. Start. Good first game.